Okay, before I get to the main topic of this video, uh, the comment did get deleted, but one guy told me to put my picture up here with the rest of the losers that are up here, you know. Victor Oladipo is an all-star, you know, Purdue University is one of the best basketball colleges, you know, Indiana Pacers are the best basketball city, um, I mean, the Detroit Red Wings are losers, but, like, not him, he's good, the, he, like, holds, it's either a Detroit Red Wings record or just an NHL record for most, uh, shootout goals, um, you know, Kobe Bryant's up there. You probably can't see that, though. Um, yeah. So, my picture from sixth grade year. I cut out of the yearbook of my ugly face. Right here. Yeah, right there. Also, another reply thing I was getting a lot from rappers fans. I'm just addressing this because I'm no longer going to um, even try... And, um, respond to comments anymore. Unless it's so idiotic, I just can't resist it. But I'm not even going to really try anymore because there's no convincing anybody. Like, me, if you get something right, like a lot of Raptors fans, they got right that they had more, uh, they had better attendance records even though they have a monopoly on basketball in Canada, being the only team in Canada. But that's a different story. Um, you know, I was like, yeah, you're right. You're right on that one. They didn't even, you know, acknowledge that Victor Oladipo is an all-star. But it's fine. They got beat by the Bucks. So, yeah. But, um, so, and I know you Hornets fans are going to be like, oh, you lost the Raptors by 46. Well, you lost to us by 39. So you just got beat by the team that lost to the Raptors by 46. The Raptors lost to the Bucks, and the Pacers beat the Bucks. So, but yeah, that's, I know that, you know, game to game connection to connection is kind of loose because a team could play completely different on one night than another night. So it's hard to base how good your team uh, is by that. It's really loose. But, um, I'm just gonna do it anyways. Kind of, I mean, I'm not using it as a main argument, but whatever. Um, you know, one thing I'm surprised by, though, back to the Raptors video, is I'm surprised that it's still getting views. Like, it's getting, it went from getting 100 views the first day to, like, 200 the second day, and then 300 today. And it's three days later, and it's still getting consistent views. And the game's been over for three days, and I'm still getting people commenting on there. Also, another thing that I hated, I'm going to get to the Hornets topic, but another thing that I hated was a lot of people were discounting my opinion because I'm a kid, which I think is bullcrap. Because if you didn't know I was a kid, and you just listened to my ideals, you would think they were pretty good basketball ideals. But because I'm a kid, you know, my opinion is not valid at all so yeah just is what it is um a lot of people were saying that i was crying even though i was keeping the same tone of voice i might have raised it like once i was keeping the same tone of voice that i have right now throughout the whole video so apparently that's crying you know giving factual evidence and, you know, voicing my opinion in a somewhat calm manner is crying. Yeah, it's crying. I know. You see those tears? I mean, I see them right there. No, I don't. Like, for me to be crying, there has to be precipitation coming out of my tear ducts and rolling down my face. There was none of that. And a lot of people were saying, well, you're using incompetence in the correct, in the incorrect context, or you should have said um, incoherent. And guess what? I put the video together in like 20 minutes. Does it really matter? Because you were getting offended enough by me calling you incompetent. So 
I think you'd get much more offended if I called you inco in, uh, incoherent. So, yeah. But um, another person, even though I already said, you know, when I accidentally slipped up and said it, it was uh when I accidentally st slipped up and said excuse, and then I was like, well, I already know they're going to say that, which is supposed to tell you, you know, if you comment that you're an idiot because it was a slip up. And one person, you know, put a timestamp of when I said it and said I called myself out. And that was nice. But, um, you know, I can't wait for this round of comments from uh, Hornets fans. And when I told my parents about this, they were like, you know, we're going to Toronto in the summer. We're, we're getting our passports. It's going to be my first time going out of the country. And we're going to Toronto in the summer. We're also stopping in Philadelphia. Two cities I don't like. Only reason I would like... The only thing I like about Philadelphia is the Eagles. Which, you know, the movie Invincible is one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, I like Allen Iverson, but I don't really like the 76ers. And Rocky. Yeah, those are the only good things that come from Philadelphia. Um... Yeah, but we're going to Toronto, and my parents were like, can you not, you know, can you not piss off a whole country before we're about to go there? So my new, my, my new goal on this channel is to get every single state in the whole country of Canada to hate me. That way, like, on my social media, whenever I travel to a city, I can be like, I was at your city, you know, be met with death threats. Because that's what YouTube's all about when you give your opinion, is death threats. I'm surprised. I think the reason I didn't get a death threat was because it's Canadians. You know, if they were in, like, United States, if they were in the United States, they wouldn't, um, they would be way less nice. And they weren't nice to me. So, if that was being nice, then I can't wait to see what I get when I comment about, like, the Knicks or something like that. That's gonna be fun. Um, you know. Especially considering the Knicks have been the Pacers' rivals up until they started sucking and winning only like 20 to 30 games a season. But, yeah, the Hornets, you just... No. No, you don't get an excuse. You don't get a reason. If Victor Oladipo and Jeremy Lamb is not a um, valid enough explanation for losing by 46, then missing Devontae Graham is not a good enough explanation for losing by 39. Especially considering Victor Oladipo and Jeremy Lamb were still out. I was actually at the game. So I witnessed, you know, Jakar Sampson just tearing, tearing it up. I witnessed uh, Brian Bowen the second. He only scored two points, but the only two points he scored was a very highly contested layup. And it was actually impressive that he even got it off. Um, you let basically everybody on our team score. Yeah. Um, Freaking Miles had like nine rebounds, maybe ten. He had four blocks, maybe three. He had a pretty good stat line. TJ Warren went off. Malcolm Brogdon did pretty good. I actually got my hat signed by him before the game. That was pretty cool. Uh, there was this really nice Pacers fan I met at the game. He was pretty chill. Sadly, we didn't get TJ McConnell over there to sign his jersey, but he was like, hey, can I have your Sharpie? And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it to you first because since you're higher up, uh, he'll notice me first and then possibly gloss over you, so I'm just going to give it to you now. He was pretty chill. No, I like that. That's that's one of the things that I like about places like Indiana. Everybody is nice to each other, mostly. You know, when you're in the game, if you've never been to a Pacers game, a Colts game, or a Purdue game, you will talk, like, with the people next to you. You will high-five and stuff. It's just the best environment ever. And if you've never been to a Pacer game in playoff environment, I went to my first playoff game um, in against the Celtics. It was game three, 
I think. Your game three or game two. And it was just the best environment ever. It was an amazing environment. But anyways. Um, I'm, I'm totally going off track. Because, I mean, there's not that much to talk about other than the Hornets. They just suck. I mean, at least we... At least we have reasons for sucking. Like, a bad start. Injury riddled. You know, those are our only reasons. There were a couple of bad calls. Yeah. And I'm going to get Gasol and Powell comments. And I just don't care. I'm not responding to it. I'm just going to show my friends, all my Pacer friends on Twitter and in real life. And we're all going to laugh about it. Just like the Toronto fan comments. Uh, one person told me I was uh, told me that the reason no Pacer fans come to my defense is because they're ashamed of me. Even though I'm pretty sure it's because Raptors fans would clip, click on that video mainly because I didn't mention the Pacers in the title at all. I just said the Toronto, the title was the Toronto Raptors gave me a migraine. No mention of the Pacers. But, um, yeah. So, uh, to end this, Hornets of Charlotte, e your defense sucks. Your offense is even worse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently, 10 games is the same as 7. You know, I'm just not going to talk about the Raptors' comments anymore. They're just going to call me salty, and it'll be funny. Yeah. I like how I already point out their insults. You know, I, I already point out your insults in the video, but yet you still comment them. <laughs> I feel like the reason... Like, if you are really this angry, like, when I'm commenting, I'm just laughing, and I'm finding it funny and amusing. But if you're commenting angrily on what a 13-year-old's opinion is, you need to get a life. Like, I'm 13, I'm just a random kid on the internet, um, just saying my opinion. And you're getting this mad, and it's just, it just it just makes me laugh, you know. It just makes me laugh because honestly, if you care that much about my opinion, that actually makes me feel happy, even if it's a negative response. If you care that this much about my opinion, at least you're listening to my opinion, and you actually care enough to try and defend your team, you know. But, you know, now actually ending this, um, the Hornets' defense sucks. Their offense is even worse. I don't know if it's even worse. Their offense was probably the best, the highest point of their performance in this game. But their lowest point was sucking that bad at defense. Like, mm, no, no. I had to throw up in a trash can afterwards. Because of how horrendous the defense was. And you have Bismack Biombo, And he's a pretty good shot blocker. And post defender. He's pretty good. You know, he's not Miles Turner good. But he's pretty good. He's not all-star level, but... He's pretty good. So yeah, there weren't that many bad calls. There were like four or five bad calls. One of them was really, really bad. But it didn't really affect the game that much. So... Yeah, but... I'll see whatever city I insult next time. <laughs> because I know none of... I mean, if you're a Pacers supporter, um, and you like the Pacers, subscribe to my channel. I'll talk about the Pacers issues sometimes. It won't just be all rants. Um, if you're a Hornets fan who's a good sport about this, and you're like, yeah, I, I, you know your team sucks, and you just want to hear me rant about other teams, and you just share the same ideologies with me, such as referees, re referees, yes, referees, referees, uh, need glasses, and need to have less crack circulating in the locker room, and should be drug tested, um, and, you know, another ideology of mine is um, crap, how do I say it without ticking people off too bad? 
Well, basically, it only applies... Well, I mean, it might, it might apply to other cities in the Midwest. Um, but if you're a team like the Pacers, who's paid your dues, you've worked hard, you've gone through adversity, you deserve a championship. I was happy for Toronto when they won a championship. I was like, yeah, let's go. You know, they won their first chip. That actually shows that a team that's paid their dues can win a championship. But then it just went to all their heads, and they're like, we're the defending champs. Oh, yeah, we're the defending champs. Like, I can't wait to hold it over your head when the Pacers finally win the championship in 2021, and we're on top. Just can't wait. It'll be fun. But, yeah, if again, if you're a Hornets fan who's a good sport, if you're a Pacers fan, or if you just want to hear my opinion and you like what I'm about, please subscribe. Because with how many views I've been getting, it's not a lot of money, but I could make some money off of this if I just got to a thousand subs. So I'd like to make some money off of this. Because what's been my dream job is making money off of sports. And this would be an amazing start. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of like an end Kickstarter part, but you all hate me at this point, so it doesn't, you're probably just going to be like, I don't care if you succeed in life or not, and um, I don't really care if you want me to succeed in life or not, but I've definitely gone off track. I just need to end off the video now before I start talking about uh, the Democratic debate, and then I'll take off more people. Yes, I actually watched it. Cyber Warfare. Oh, man, Cyber Warfare, yes. Bringing... Bringing a hot dish to the dictator's doorstep. If you watch the Democratic debate, you'll get that reference. See you guys in the next rant. Uh, who, do, who do the Pacers face next? Whoever the Pacers face next. If some crap goes down, I'll rant about it. Don't worry. Uh, see you guys next time.